Feedback Art Africa in the 1980s is an exhibition curated by Ugechuku, Smooth and Zevi from the Cleveland Museum of Art in the US and, pro and produced together with Eva Leverhaus at University of Bayreuth. In this room you can see a map um, which um, visualize the artworks from the different countries in Africa. The artworks we exhibit um, are from four different collections three um, institutional collections, the Iberleber House collection, um, the collection of the Frankfurt Weltkulturmuseum and from the Kampala Art Gallery in Uganda, as well as from one private collector. As you can see on that map, um, we are not presenting the whole of Africa, but only those 12 um, countries. The exhibition um, is put together in four different sections, so we are not um, taking, we are not, um, we not, we didn't put, we didn't put uh, the pictures, the artworks together in, in regions, but in sections. We have four different sections, um, which I will guide you through. Here we have a film room where we are showing fiction films from the countries in order to give um, a better background and, and a better understanding about the 1980s because um, the 1980s were a decade of uncertainty and transition and changings. Um, for every country it was different. Here we um, start with the section Double Vision. Double Vision features figural and abstract, abstract works from several regions in Africa. Um, in order to represent, for example, daily life, urban life in African countries, or also um, they comment on political situations like dictatorship, and that was the way the artist expressed themselves in, in their picture making. And you can see that they are addressing completely um, different themes. Here more a political um, issue. And here, for example, um, Moke, who um, is um, in our collection, is more um, speaking about urban life, about daily life um, in the city um, in a very figural manner. Um, for example, you can see here the Mercedes, um, which is a status symbol um, and was um, driven by the state. So we have a lot of different um, comments, not only on politics, but also daily life. The next um, section is the dystopian vision of the post-colony, um, because a lot of countries um, yeah, had independence um, in the 1960s or 70s, and now the 1980s mark a decade um, with like this illusion of um, uh, that euphoria of the independences, and the artists and of course the society recognized that the post-colonial state somehow also failed. When you look at um, this work, Misfortune from Uganda, I think. Uh, you clearly can see what uh, the artist wants to tell about Uganda in the 1980s. Um, you see a lot of horror, a lot of animal and insects. Um, you, I think you can directly see and feel the terror of the country even if you don't have um, that much background um, of Uganda.
throughout um, the whole exhibition, we have another section called the, the weight of history, um, which is spread in the exhibition space and are mostly um, works from contemporary artists um, who give feedback on that um, decade. And in order that, that they are spread um, in the exhibition space, um, they should talk with the other artworks or should also yeah, give each other feedback or link um, with each other. And besides several graphics and figural works, we also have a few, um, a few video, video installations and In this section, we show works which are dealing with everyday life. Um, we have mostly graphics in here. For example, Obiora Udechupu from Nigeria. Those works are from the Ibaliba House collection and um, from the Greifenberger, the private collectors. Um, and what was really interesting that Ndidi Dike, an Nigerian contemporary artist, came here for the exhibition and um, worked on Obiora with this work, um, History Lesson. She put together a new collage out of his work, um, out of 12 works, I think, and reinstalled them. And um, it was then afterwards put on that plate and it should tell another history of Nigeria from the 1980s with background to Udechukwu's works. As I already said, beside all the artworks, we also have something that we call a library, um, where the visitor can sit down and read a bit more about um, Africa and the African countries, um, their cultural life, um, their politics, but also um, about literature, about several um, writers from Africa, and like, for example, Chino Achebe from Nigeria. So a lot of um, different writers who wrote also about aspects of politics um, and about the cultural life in that decade. We have also um, a music room where we show the music from the 1980s. Those works um, are a collage of several um, pictures from album covers from the Eva Leberhaus archives. And then we have four mixes, different mixes, put together from the South African DJ Spoke Matambu, he, who was also here for a residency, in order also to give an impression about the musical life and to complete also the picture about the 1980s. Politics are playing a big role in the 1980s and therefore on that screen you can see different political speeches from the 12 countries, um, from the several leaders, as well as we have several documents from the speeches or um, artist manifestos and so on in order to um, give a better background and that the visitor can really read in those speeches and documents um, and to get a, really a sense of the 1980s about what was talked and how it was talked and what was the problem in the country and so on. In the last room um, we are representing Eva Lieber House from the 1980s Eva Lieber House was funded in 1981 by Uli Bayer and had also a lot of exhibition in the 1980s. Those pictures are from the Uli Bayer archive, which uh, is digitalized at the moment and which gives also a really great insight into Eva Lieber House 1980s feeling, so to say. Um, in those chairs, you can sit down and um, have a look in our 
feedback brochure or feedback uh, newspaper um, where we collected um, clippings from the local and international newspaper which is speaking about Eva Leberhaus um, at that time. Beside this, um, we can also have a look at publications from that time, because Eva Leberhaus also produced a lot of um, publications to the exhibition, exhibition catalogues or literature. So here we have poetries by Obioda Udechukwu. And here we um, try to catch up some voices um, about Eva Leberhaus from the 1980s from several people who remembered um, that period and the actors and so on. And lastly, you can have a look at the posters from the former exhibitions from the 1980s um, with a wide um, range from Obioda Odechukbu, who is also now um, in feedback, and several other themes. So you can see in the 1980s, Eva Leberhaus, it wasn't only about Africa, um, it was also exhibitions about India or Australia. Um, and beside exhibitions, Eva Leberhaus did also a lot of music events like drum sessions um, and cultural, cultural evenings with cooking and music and dancing. So um, yeah, with this we want to give an insight how it was in the 1980s at Eva Leberhaus. <laughs>